Here's a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. I'm going to show you how to insert a physical SIM card and double check the mobile settings. The first thing we're going to do is take out the SIM ejection tray right here. It's on the top left hand side here. So go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. It looks something like this. It does come right out of your box in this pamphlet right here. Okay, if you don't have that laying around, you can use a different phone SIM ejection tool, even like a uh, like a paper clip that has a long and thin needle, or a bobby pin, or even the back of a stud earring. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to go and get the needle. Top left hand side, you see that little hole right there. We're going to put the needle into the hole, and now I'm going to press towards the phone. Okay. And as soon as I do that, that little tiny lip pops out right here, as you can see. Okay, so let me turn that over and I'm going to go ahead and slide this out. Just like I'm not going to turn it over, I'm going to leave it just like this so I know exactly how to put it back in. If I look at this uh, tray here, top right hand side has a diagonal slit. That's exactly how I want my SIM card in there. Okay, the metal contact is going to be facing down. You can't get this wrong either. Okay, and once you pop it in place, it should snap. Okay, it should not come out when you turn it upside down. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in. It says no SIM, no service up there. Let's put this in nice and slowly. I'll make sure it's all the way in and let's see if it finds anything. If you're using a T-Mobile, a US carrier, it may ask you to restart once you put the SIM card in. Anyway, something's going. Okay, so it's searching there. I see 5G, oh, 5G reception bars right there. And there we go. And it looks like I got some voicemails in as well. And I can see my reception bars there. So let's go ahead and check the mobile settings now. So let's go to settings. I can slip on that edge panel like that. Tap on the settings right there. We're going to go to connections. And then from here, we're going to go to mobile networks. And you can see, for me, they turn data roaming on by default. Some of you guys may not want uh, data roaming on. Some of you guys get charged and whatnot. I have unlimited, so I'm fine with it always on. And there you go. We're all up and running. Questions or issues? Comment below. Good luck.